question is, um, how do you finish filling out this table for lab nine? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's, is that your question? Yes, sir, yeah. Okay. Um, <clears throat> well, you've got a uh, period. So the, the period is given by a capital letter tau, mm -hmm. and uh, it just comes out as T on the lab because, you know, Microsoft Excel and font, whatever. Anyway, um, omega is 2 pi over the period. So um, you have tau initial and tau final. That's period, the, the initial, the time to go around initially, and then the time to go around finally, before and after the collision. So that was the one where we dropped the, the disk on it, right? Yeah. And so to get the initial angular speed, you plug in the initial period there. Does that make sense? And that'll tell you. So that's, that's how you get those next two, or the next one. Yeah. OK? And then the other part. And then to get omega final measured, you plug in oh, final, ones. final here and here, and that'll be the final omega measure. But omega predicted, that's when you got to use the laws of physics. So that's when you're going to use <coughs> um, conservation of angular momentum. So angular momentum before the collision equals angular momentum after the collision. And that is just simply I omega. And we're trying to find this. Okay. So we'll solve this. Just divide that I downstairs. So we'll have I initial over I initial. I'm sorry, omega, I initial times omega initial over I final. And, and the difference between initial and final is in the final situation, there's two disks that are spinning. Initially, you just have one disk spinning. Mm -hmm. But after the collision, you've got two disks spinning. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, um, <clears throat> this is just going to be uh, the disk with, uh, which one is it? It's the disk with the pulley that's spinning to start with, I think, right? Can we drop the other one on? So I think this is I with pulley. And then this one is I with pulley oops, plus I without the pulley because it's, it's two disks stuck together. Gotcha. Does that make sense? Uh -huh. Okay. Was that, and then the percent error, remember the equation for, oh, you got it right yeah, there. Yeah, I have it okay. down there. Okay. <laughs> and then, okay. And percent error is going to be based off of what we found out for predicted? Yes, yep, yep. So the, um, this the is predicted and measured, and this is truth and test. So truth is reality, what, what actually happened. Yeah. Test is, do these laws of, of equa these laws of physics, do they actually work? Yeah. Do they actually describe it? So we're testing this. Uh -huh. So this is the test. This is the truth. Because that's the period that we actually measured. That's what it actually okay, did. That's the one we're and this is where we're saying, I think it's going to act this way. Okay. okay. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. <clears throat>